This video is an update to video 9 of my suitcase solar panel series where I modify the Furion solar inlet to handle more than 10 amps. It just boggles the mind. I have recently discovered that apparently no two Furion solar inlets are the same. I show here a black version and a gray version of the Furion solar inlet found in many RVs these days. A white version is also available but I did not purchase it for the video as it appears to be identical to the gray version. Although they all share the same common part number, FSPINS, the black version is completely different from the gray and white versions as you can see here. The black version is smaller as well. It has a molded in back to the connector. Whereas the gray and the white version, and you can see that it has a separate connector that's just screwed into the back panel. And if we open them, we can also see that the connector is molded in here, where this one is a separate connector on a piece of black plastic. Oddly enough, they're both rated at 10 amps still. And also this housing is actually from a 30 amp shore power inlet, and they just removed the shore power connector itself and put this in its place. This is a 30 amp boot with locking ring and you can see that the locking ring is the same as used by the 30 amp connectors and if you were so inclined you could actually use this locking ring to waterproof the connector if you wanted to and I'll provide a link to my website where I obtained all of these items. Why Furion is making two completely different solar ports with the same part number is beyond my comprehension. But there's great news here. The gray and white versions are much easier to modify for a 20 amp connector. You can just simply take the four screws out of the port, purchase a standard CN Linko connector pair, and then you can install this in the place of this one. Now in reality this probably is rated for 20 amps. I don't know why they downgrade it to 10. But when I look at the specifications, the CN Linko LP-20 series connector is definitely a 20 amp service connector. It is also waterproof, so you really don't need to boot if you don't want it. Another nice thing is that when you put the CN Linko plug on, you hear the snap. No way this will come off until you depress the bale, and then it will come off. In contrast, this one never really fit well. You can put it on easily enough and it'll come off by itself. This is a much more positive locking one. And in the previous video, which I'll provide a link here, this is actually molded into the base. And I cut that out to something like what we have here. You can actually place one of the Anderson power pole type connectors in here. And this just screws down from the back. And now we have an Anderson style connector and this actually is a dual connector. So you could wire this in parallel or serial if you wanted to. And these are also available with contacts that are rated for 15, 30, and 45 amps. So it would be very simple to upgrade to this. So my recommendation after discovering this solar connector is if you need 20 amps, I would replace this one with a 20 amp connector or possibly use an Anderson connector and replace the existing socket with this one. And just like the CN Linko adapter cable, you can buy an Anderson cable that goes from the Anderson connector to an MC4 connector. So either way, you're covered. I'm scratching my head on this one still. Why do they actually have two different types of connectors with the same part number? But, you know, when I run across things like this, I will tell you about them. 